come. God bless you so much. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. We love you so much. You are blessed. And we are happy that, that you subscribe to our YouTube and in a very consistent way, you follow all through. If it's your first time, we just want to introduce to you the, uh, this teaching, this training, this kind of edification, preach, uh, a preach that will edify your life and anointing that heals. And as you follow us, follow us through things you happen. Remember, we are in the topic, it is finished. Our main text is John 19 verse 30, when Christ cried and said, it is finished, it is finished. Now, I would like to share more about this. Because of what Christ did, the complete work on the cross. Now, Jesus Christ, his power, his power reigns everywhere. Let me say this. Today, if you go to South Africa and speak to a demon there, in the name of Jesus, demons there know him. If you go to Russia and speak to any situation using the name of Jesus, you realize Jesus is not straight to those situations. If you speak the name of Jesus to a specific need, you realize everything knows Jesus. And that's why the word of God says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 10. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might feel all things. I say he might feel all things. Because it is finished, Jesus' name reigns everywhere. There's nowhere that the power of Christ you fail to operate. If you, they throw you to the deepest pit, use the name of Christ, he is not there. If it is in marriage, the name of Christ is not there. Even, every demon, even where Christ has never been preached, if you speak to a witch, and say, in the name of Jesus, they will say, we know him. I say, he reigns everywhere. And therefore, because of what Christ did, we now know, in Christ we have sufficiency of power, sufficiency of grace to live anywhere on earth and to use his name on any spirit, on any impediment. And there will be a way in Jesus' name and also in Philippians chapter 2, the Bible says, uh -huh, Philippians chapter 2, that's very important. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Philippians chapter 2, the Bible talks about, uh -huh, let, uh, about the fullness of Christ and, uh, and how Christ, every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, and, if, and, and, and you can't, it say, it's continue on talking about the phrase, of, you can read the whole chapter for yourself, and God that we serve will bless you. Now, if we, another thing, because it is finished, the victory, we have victory that never ceases. There is power that I, I've seen this happen as I preach in crusades. Whenever God starts healing, whenever God starts the battle, whenever God starts moving in prophecy, you read that power never ceases. That power never ceases. We have victory that will never turn to be otherwise. It will remain victory. We have power over Power of a dominion, of a principalities that you never cease or lack to be power over. And therefore, that's what the, in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, the Bible says, uh, 11 verse 6, we talk about faith there. Eh? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. 
For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The same thing if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 24. The Bible says, the word of God says, uh -huh. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father. When he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies at his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For he has put all things at his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who put all things under him is exempted. Now that all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him, that God may be all in all. We are saying victory that never ceases is available. That is very great, great, great power, resurrection. For if Christ is not risen, it's interesting to know this, that it is so final that Christ overcame death, and it's so clear and so powerful in God. You know, armies can fight and lose strength. You can send a fleet of powerful soldiers and they, they, they get tired. They are dehydrated and drained. But there's no way the power of Christ will, do, will be dehydrated, will be diminished. It is ever, ever new. Ever, ever, ever powerful. And therefore, victory that never ceases. Victory that never gets lesser. Victory that never ceases. Because it is finished, our blessing and status are already determined. Our blessings and status are determined. Our work is to come out of those fluctuating, defeated situations and enter into Christ. You realize that your position, your victory, your joy, your marriage, your living is already cleared and determined in Christ. And that's why we, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are gone. Behold, all things are new. In Ephesians chapter 1, uh -huh, verse 3, the Bible says very clearly, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. In where Christ, heavenly places here means where Christ is seated at the right hand of God the Father with us there. The way, the way the record states there is that all blessings that you need, you have them. You know, when you pray, you just discover what exists in Christ because he overcame death for us. That's a very, very important. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man, things that God has prepared for them that love him. It's prepared because Christ overcame death. Uh -huh. Yes, you can become a millionaire and never be a millionaire. You can buy cars and never buy cars. You can be blessed and ever remain blessed. If you don't defile yourself, remain in Christ and obey him. Your status is determined. Your blessings are determined. Another thing, because it is finished, our authority over curses, over demons, over sin, over carnality, over all lust is sealed. There is a seal, a rubber stamp saying, authority over. We are not seeking for it. It's guaranteed. There is no way you can tell us that I have been overcome because Christ did not allow. Uh -uh. Whenever you fail, it's you, but not Jesus Christ. His. And that's why the Bible says in um, Matthew 28, 
Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Aha. Uh -huh. Verse 18. Bible says. All authority in heaven. All authority. Jesus came and spoke to them saying. All authority has been given to me. In heaven and on earth. Go therefore. And make all people. Make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And I am with you always, even to the end of age. I tell you that our preaching is sealed. Authority to make people disciples is not trying. Try, we are not trying. It's there. Ability to win the world is there. Authority that can never diminish or be compromised is already in Christ. And therefore, we have sealed authority. Sealed, confirmed. God has put a signature that authority over curses is real and complete. Authority over demons is real and complete. Authority over sin, authority over men and evil is complete. Bible says in Mark 16, 17, when Christ came to the disciples, said, Now these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in your tongues. It is sealed already. Uh -huh. In John chapter 16, John chapter 16, verse 11, the Bible also says, you know, so complete, Matthew, John 16, uh -huh. John 16, verse 11, Mm -hmm. I hope you, are, you can accept your scripture. It says, and, uh, verse, verse 8, And when he has come, the Holy Spirit will convince the world of sin and of righteousness, of judgment, of sin because they do not believe in me, of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more, of judgment because the ruler of the world is judged. The ruler of the world is judged. Devil is judged. Full stop. So, we have sealed authority. That is very important. And you go for that, that in. However, when the spirit of the truth has come, he will guide you into all the truth. That is very, very important to know that our authority is sealed and is final. Pray. Get rid of all filthiness. Let Christ come up in you in a Pure, final way. You realize all demons are under your feet and no man, no woman can take out your blessing. That's very, very important. Because Christ overcame, there is complete ministry of the Holy Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is now complete. And that's why the work of the Holy Spirit is to, to declare Christ to the nations. To glorify Christ. What Jesus is to take what Christ did on the cross and make it clear to people. Power of the resurrection be seen. The word of salvation be clear. And therefore, in Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah, because it is finished, there's completeness of the Holy Spirit. And that's the Bible says, as we read in John 16, verse 13, when he comes on you, who? Holy Spirit, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, who? Christ. For he will take of what is mine and declare to you. That's why we are saying, because Jesus overcame death, the ministry of the Holy Spirit is now complete. He can guide you into all the truth. Declare the glory of Christ in our lives. And the Bible says in Romans 8, 16, the Holy Ghost bears witness with our spirit that we are, we are, not that we shall be, we are God's children. He bears witness with our spirit that we are. That is the complete ministry of the Holy Spirit is already complete, is there. That we are, not that we shall be. Romans 8, 16. Holy Ghost bears witness with our spirit that we are God's children. And if we are God's children, we are heirs of God with Christ. And I tell the people always, the Holy Spirit.
Spirit did not come to us just to make us speak in tongues, but he came to us as the Spirit of the Father to cause us to know how to inherit our Father and to show us the riches of our Father. We should allow the Holy Spirit to show us the riches. In fact, majority of the people in the church who have become rich, they always attribute that to the Holy Ghost. When he spoke, the Holy Ghost spoke, the Holy Ghost unveiled, the Holy Ghost confirmed. Those things, because the Holy Ghost will walk with us. The Bible says he will show us, he will lead us into all the truth. He will reveal things from heaven. And therefore, by the grace of God, we declare this window. Let me pray for you. I want to, to tell you something. It's complete. Don't live as if what you're supposed to be is not complete. No. In my mind, even if I don't own that building, I know there is capacity in Christ for me to own it. Even if your son is lost, there's capacity in Christ to break yokes and to bring your son back. Even if your marriage is in desperate situation, there's power in Christ to use that marriage. Even if you are in desperate, dire need because of poverty, there's power in Christ to cause you to become very rich. It is finished. And therefore, in Christ, whoever is bowed, be loosed and be healed. Whoever is poor, I command way out of poverty. Whoever is oppressed, I destroy your oppressors, rise up and occupy. Whoever is crying, wipe your tears. It is finished. There is power in Christ to work out way for you. Even if you have come to a net of your, of your might, there is power in Christ beyond death to overcome and to make way for you. In Christ, receive blessings.